Hello BZ Power, this is Chocolate Frogs here with another set review. Today we have a city set thanks to LEGO. I'll be able to share my opinions on it uh, here and in the BZ Power text news report with all kinds of pictures too. This is the one of the jungle sets from this year, set 60161. It has 813 pieces and retails for $120 in America. So it's a little above that 10 cents per piece ratio. But as you can see, we get a handful of minifigs, a new uh, carnivorous plant piece, uh, a jaguar, a leopard uh, right there, big plane piece. Um, should be some good stuff here, despite that increased cost. Let's see. Uh, and we have the front of the box, has the exploration vehicles, has a temple with lots of gold around it. Uh, we got some animals right here, right here, spider. Um, looks like we have a trap, some boulder stuff, some good printed parts like a, a map and a compass. Uh, so all in all, there is a lot here uh, within the jungle. That's pretty exciting. On the top we see the full array of minifigs and then on the back we have all kinds of play features. Helicopter, cars, animals, traps, uh, and more. So that is all really exciting. Let's open it up and see what kind of parts are inside. Alright, here is a first look at some of the pieces we get. There's a lot of Keat Orange, um, so that's really cool. I love that color, uh, both Bionicle and System parts. Uh, let's see, we got uh, this odd tile. We have uh, a bunch of plates. So, let's see, 2 by 16, 2 by 6, 2 by 4, 2 by 8, uh, let's see, 2 by 3, 2 by 2, let's see, one of these angled uh, corner parts, 2 by 1, 1 by 4, uh, let's see, slope, one by two by two slope. Uh, one of the oops. slope part with a plate. Uh, brick with a clip. Uh, another, let's see, inverted slope. Uh, one by four brick. Uh, wing piece. Some of these. Uh, motorcycle top. Yeah, so that's all the cute orange. Uh, also, we get brick bracket in brown. We get the carnivorous plant piece. That is going to be so cool to use. We get some animals, including a new spider and a yellow frog. I know that's not new, but we get one in here. We get a cool map tile. And then uh, just a solid blue minifig head. Don't know what that's for yet. We get uh, some red 2x2 two two curved slopes. Maybe not new, but they're pretty cool. Uh, and a kayak. Lots of connection points on there. Should be good for mocks. We get a some black T-bars, which are awesome. I know those come in Ninjago movie sets this year as well. And then we get some uh, paddle pieces. Get a couple of those. Uh, a new uh, part for the cars over the wheels. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and finally, a compass uh, tile, uh, different from what we've got recently in minifigs. 
So, that's the first couple of bags. Let's see what else we got. And more parts we get are more uh, Keat Orange, uh, some nice tans and grays, all other kind of stuff. So let's start. I don't know how many of these Keat Orange parts have been produced before in this color, but they are always cool. Uh, this is a new piece. Nice little panel there. Uh, we get some doors. There we go. And then a few more generic parts. And then we get uh, some swords or, you know, uh, machetes. And uh, just plain gray mini fig head. Uh, let's see, some printed parts include a, uh, a double cheese slope with a dashboard on it and um, a curved slope with uh, a jungle exploration uh, symbol for the team. We get uh, some alligator parts. This looks new. Uh, last time I got an alligator was in the uh, Lego Movie Police Bad Cop set. So this is, this is a, a step up from that shape. We get uh, some, a green vine. Pretty cool. And we get some nice tan parts. Nice big wedge there. And a 1x4 curved slope. And then in beige, we get that same slope. And then one of these new parts. Yeah. Two by six curved wedge. Uh, we get this part in gray. I know that's not new, but uh, not too common in sets. And then in gold, we get some of these accents for most buildings and stuff. Uh, some of the teeth from Chima, but in gold. And then a gold frog. All right, our final uh, set of pieces uh, include a jaguar, one of these new animal shapes with the extra moving head and back legs that also move. We get an airplane cockpit and then a base for the cockpit. Uh, so we'll see that on a crashed airplane. We get a cool lime snake, a red crystal. We get a vine piece, some of these which aren't new but cool to have. A nice big 16 by 16 beige base plate. A big couple big couple of these burps, big ugly rock piece. Uh, I don't have any of this size in my collection yet. That's pretty cool. And then a sticker sheet, which I don't really like to use, but they give you uh, some screens, some maps, some details for uh, the vehicles. Uh, so just some little extra details if desired. All right, let's see what the set looks like. And so here is the complete set of the Jungle Adventure. We have a couple vehicles, a small buggy, a big truck, a helicopter, uh, and the crashed airplane. We have some animals, the crocodile alligator right here, and a jaguar uh, hidden in a cave. I'll show you that in a moment, along with a spider, a snake, um, some frogs, you'll see. We get the uh, carnivorous plant as well. Pretty cool there. Um, seven minifigures, uh, three men, uh, sorry, four men and three women. Uh, and then a uh, kayak and some traps and a bunch of other cool play features. So let's start with some of the smaller things. Uh, this little buggy here. Uh, seats one and has room for some cargo. Comes with a shovel and a crowbar for whatever you might need. Has an antenna for communications. And six wheels, so it's pretty all-terrain. 
So that's great. Uh, then we have the bigger truck, uh, seats one in the front and then can seat some more people in the back. Seems to have some sort of lab there. You have uh, what looks like a microscope kind of thing there. So they can put some crystals or animals they find or some water samples there to study it or they can house people or uh, other items they might need to carry along. Uh, the top part comes off really easily, so that's a nice play feature. And then the kayak fits on top as well. We also have a crane and a motorcycle. Motorcycle is attached uh, with some Technic pins, so that's great. And then it has a helmet for whoever is going to be riding the cycle. And then uh, the crane can also use its lift arm to hold some crates. So that's just another cool play feature of uh, what's ever integrated into here. On the sides we get um, machete and a pickaxe uh, so they can hack through the jungle and uh, knock off some rocks for study. And then the helicopter has uh, can float in the water supposedly. Um, seats one and then has a rope so oops all right so need to tie that better but it'll it'll uh be able to lift things up as well using the crane you just turn this knob here to loosen up or tighten up the string that you get so that's pretty cool and then uh the kayak also pretty simple nice kayak piece with a paddle so you can have your mini figs swim along with that. As for this, we have the plant able to move around a bit. It's really large, so uh, very humorous that way. There we go. Uh, and has a spider uh, waiting inside. So you know, maybe it did catch a, uh, a bug instead of a human. Uh, and then we got a yellow frog right next to it. Also comes with a campfire and a uh, propane stove with a pan on top of it so they can get their munchies as well. The alligator is really cool. Uh, three new parts that I showed off. So the head moves, the tail moves. The tail is attached with a blue Technic pin with stud on the end. Uh, so that's annoying because I have no idea how I'm going to get that out. I can probably probably try to pull it out with um, a lightsaber uh, stuck in there and a good grip or something. It's going to be tricky. So, uh, I mean, I might not need the tail to be out. It's just a little inconvenient to have a part almost permanently attached like that. All right, and before we get to the minifigs and the play features, one more animal to show off is over here. We have a cave underneath the spider web and then in the back we have this little knob there. So you just push on that and out comes the jaguar ready to pounce. And the jaguar piece is cool. The hind legs move and the head moves as well. So that's a fairly new uh, thing we've seen in the past year or two with horses and stuff. Uh, and then, of course, in this theme. Put that back in there. Uh, before I show off the front, let's look at the back. We uh, It's a little bit of just regular Lego fodder. Uh, also, kind of looks like a cave here, and then especially back in here. Doesn't give us any crystals to put in there, aside from the treasure found in the airplane. But you can certainly add more to it and do what you want. So, on that note, we have the airplane, crashed airplane right up there, which has uh, a crate with, oops, has a crate with crystals and gold in it. And that just sits on top of a turntable. So it just moves a little bit uh, to get in the exact position you want for that scene. The propeller is really cool. Uh, it's really well detailed, although it doesn't stay straight all the time. 
And then inside the cockpit we have a snake, so uh, watch out when you're exploring. I guess, I guess it's good LEGO didn't put a, a skeleton minifig in there, although uh, I think if an AFOL uh, showed this off at a convention, uh, that would probably be detail and be pretty funny, because uh, it's LEGO. Uh, as for this, we also have this river in the middle. It's uh, not my favorite brick-built river. It's um, got a nice little waterfall right there with the rocks, and it's blue, of course. Uh, has a nice point through these two intrusions, and you can certainly put a minifig in the kayak on it and have it come down the river. It just doesn't, doesn't look aesthetically pleasing as other LEGO-built rivers can be. Uh, but, good effort, Lego. And then, on top of the structure here, we have a, so a rock, rock fixture. You can have your minifig tug at a vine, and then the rock pull comes down, and it's a trap. And then, uh, also, you'll notice this looks like a face. They're obviously exploring for some treasure, and here's a temple with a little face showing it off. We got the crystal right there. Ah, but if you come here and try to get the crystal, hang on. Uh-oh, you might get trapped. And if you're lucky, you'll just slide right down to the bottom of the river. Let's get that in there. There we go. So, uh, some really cool play features with those uh, couple bits of the traps. And then you can put the Technic pin right back in there, resets the platform, and they're all good. So that's one of my favorite bits. The, uh, it looks like a face, uh, and it has some play features in there. Uh, I think this is really clever. Um, I think the rocks here look a little too symmetrical. It would have been nice to have a couple more slopes, cheese slopes, one by two slopes, gray, light gray, uh, maybe some plants, some vines, stuff like that, sort of here to mix it up a bit. Uh, it's always something important when you're building a rock face out of Lego is to make it look natural. And symmetry, not so much in this case. Um, the plane, plane is good, it seems a little, um, the parts with it, you get one of these big wing parts and one of these smaller wing parts, but you only get one half, and we all know you need both halves if you're trying to build a really cool spaceship or airplane or whatever. Um, so, the, uh, this stuff's really cool, getting the Jaguar, the, uh, the, le the tree here is, is really well done. Let's see. Um, the minifigs are great. Let's see. Here we go. We get her in a really cool uh, jumpsuit pattern. Uh, no face on the back of her head. We get an explorer guy here. Hold, he has a map and a camera. And he has a scared face as well. I was also listening to, uh, to an iPod or something. So uh, he's ready to go uh, for all kinds of studies. What I like about these is like the box shows the minifigs holding certain items and having certain items on their back or whatever, the knapsacks, the compass, the map. And then I look at in the instructions and it's completely different on who gets what. So you have lots of play features, uh, lots of options. It's okay to swap, swap some rolls around to have one person holding something instead of another. This guy has a backpack on and he has uh, some rope and some pockets, all kinds of preparedness stuff all throughout his, uh, his person. Um, and this guy has the same detailing on the front and um, on the back. And right now he is the one with the life preserver 
for kayaking. Again, anyone can do that. There's a couple, there's an extra helmet, there's the uh, life preserver, all kinds of tools and maps and stuff. Anyone can lend a hand in any role in this exploration. We got another uh, torso with exploration gear and we have the compass and thermometer uh, tile, and some can a canteen on the other back printing there. And then we got a uh, mechanic, some oil stains, a dog tag, and he's eating uh, some meat. Don't know where they found a, a chicken leg like that out here, uh, but who knows? He's got a wrench in his back pocket. That must be heavy. Uh, and then we have her wearing the walkie, carrying the walkie-talkie. Uh, some more printing with the uh, gear, canteen on the back, and another scared face. So too many figs are scared. So that is the set. Uh, I think it's incredibly creative. Got some great play features and plenty of vehicles. Uh, seven minifigs is a lot, so that's great, and they all have their roles. And everything is pretty interchangeable on uh, who's wearing what and who's using uh, what tools. Uh, so uh, it's really cool to see, uh, see the variety there. Uh, it is about 800 pieces or so for $120, so that's 15 cents a piece. Um, some of the parts are big, like the airplane cockpit, and we got new parts like the alligator and the jaguar. Um, but also, also for, uh, it's not that many new big pieces, so I think price hike is a little, little stiff on there. Uh, there is play, play value. Three vehicles, a landscape, uh, a couple different things to play with. So, so it's definitely a worthwhile set. Just depends how much you're willing to spend on it. Uh, so be sure to subscribe to uh, BZ Power for more set reviews and LEGO-related videos. And check out BZ Power for all your LEGO news and the forums. And check us out on Twitter. This is Chocolate Frog signing off.